Um, hey, Michael, um, nice job on your sketches here. Um, yeah, your scans came out really well, um, and you know you have a really nice presentation, so it really kind of makes it really quite easy to see these. Um, so let's see what you have here. Bacon, corn, fries, corn dog, chicken nuggets. Oh, this is really kind of cool with the, um, you know, kind of the different kind of fast food motifs. Um, and you've got your candy, um, Doritos, apple. Um, you know, any of these would work. They, they all look really cool. Um, a couple things to keep in mind when you go further. Um, we aren't going to be using any any facial features, um, human facial features, but you can create um, a face with, um, you know, other objects. So for this one, um, you know, you can just use any kind of uh, round object or any, any object you choose. Um, I like the ones that kind of stick to a, a theme, even though I really like the way all of these are shaped. Um, so when I'm looking at... Um, so I'm, think, I'm looking um, for kind of th um, thematic consistency. So um, bacon, corn, and a burger, fries. So you might want to um, keep it kind of similar in theme um, or, you know, just somehow kind of relate the food to each other. Um, this one I think is really fun and, and also as well. Um, um, and again, just make sure to not, you know, put facial features on it. But I really like how you have the corn dog top off too. So really creative. And I like that you're looking at different angles, though most of these are kind of head, you know, straight on view. So sometimes if you, um, you know, you, you look at it from a slightly, a slight angle, then you can use perspective um, and scale to, to add depth. So that would kind of mean, you know, that whatever was going to be in front would look larger, but that's something we can easily do in Photoshop. But you might want to keep that in mind when you're taking the pictures um, next week. Um, you know, the candy one is really fun too. Um, and again, I really like how you're moving, um, you know, these objects around and everything's not completely um, just one point perspective head on. Um, this is a really fun one too. Um, I can't, oh, Twister. Doritos. I mean, you could kind of, I mean, if you didn't have the apple in there, it could kind of be kind of more like, well, you've also got green beans, but um, again, you've got marshmallows and stuff, even though I guess if you mix it up enough, it, it, it's going to be random enough that you could probably use a whole bunch of different kinds of objects um, like this one. But, but, you know, if you have all, you know, like all fast food and then you throw in something else, um, it, it might kind of mess up the, um, the continuity. Let's see, potato chips, celery, block of cheese. These are all really great and, and your drawings are really good and you labeled them really well. So um, yeah, I don't really have um, any feedback on your the quality of your sketches or, or their execution. I think that they look great and I think you're, you know, definitely keep all these because you're going to have a really nice portfolio piece, um, you know, including these sketches and your rough drafts and so on as we go through the class. So, you know, I'm not really being much help here. Um, I like the, I like the top of the corn dog, even though I'm not sure about these, they look a little bit clunky. Um, you know, this is kind of one of the more fun ones too, just with this kind of, um, you know, triangular shape. Um, this one's really cool too. And again, these are both cool too with the, um, but they're, they're pretty blocky. So they're probably less interesting than some of the other ones, just in terms of the, um, the, um, you know, size and, and shape relationships. But again, once you get this stuff photographed, you can make things um, bigger. It doesn't, they don't have to be to scale. So, you know, you could have a really big head, you can have small legs, you know, so on and so forth like that. When in Photoshop, it's pretty easy to do that. So anyway, really great job on these. Um, I love bacon too. <laughs> so anyway, the, um, yeah, these look great. And, you know, I really like that you're using more objects because you can always take them out later. Um, you know, so it, it just... You know, I'm not being much help because I really do like all of these. This is probably my least favorite one just because of the the big block. It looks a little bit static. This is one of my favorite. But anyway, um, so overall you've done a really great job. Um, and it's going to be really fun to see this, this kind of come to life um, in the future weeks. Um, okay.